Today is 80 degrees with 35 mile an hour gusts. Good thing I got this like Amazon cheap dead cat thing so I can actually kind of record right now. But today guys, we have some plans for uh, this. What is going on guys? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So as I said, it is crazy windy today, but I do have a dead cat thing on here to hopefully block most of the wind sound so you guys can hear me. But today, we are changing out the front brakes, cal not calipers, we're just changing out the rotors and we're changing out the pads because these ones are scored and rusted and disgusting. Now these brakes should be pretty straightforward and it should only be taking two of these bolts off, sliding the caliper off, sliding this off and replacing it. And this install should go very easily and smoothly. But when I say that, it never goes easily and smoothly. These calipers are actually way more rusted out than I actually thought they were, so I might actually try to clean them up just a little bit. They're, I don't know, they're, they're old. I didn't get new calipers for the front, just the back. Hopefully these ones still do have some life in them, but when I'm looking at them, they're not looking the best. So I'm gonna show you these ones, a little, a little video of them, compared to what we are putting in. Now these aren't just super rusty, they are also super, super scored, and they don't feel the best when you're actually trying to break. So we are going to definitely fix that. You know, we got the same look, we got the same vibes, and honestly, these actually might be the same brand. I didn't go with a crazy brand of brake rotors or pads or anything. I just went with an eBay one. These were only like 40, 50 bucks I think for the pair. The backs were about the same price. And I know they're probably gonna get as rusty as the front ones as soon as I start using them, but at least these ones aren't scored and they're brand new. Give my car a fresher look off the get-go when I first start driving it again. And I'm gonna need wheels because you're not gonna be able to see these through the wheels, but they're really nice looking. So they're just a couple 17 millimeter bolts holding on the actual bracket itself. And um, we'll see if I can get this with my hands. I might need my impact wrench though. Yeah, these are a little bit seized. That's why you always use impact wrenches. These are old, disgusting, and I'm happy that we're done using them. It's a lot harder to do this when nothing is connected to the arms because everything moves freely and you can't get anything close enough. Yeah, doing this when they're not on the arm is definitely a bit of a hassle because everything moves. But we got everything secure now, and um, she's on there. Yeah, putting putting those brake pads in took a lot longer than I was expecting. And I tried taking the caliper apart, and I tried putting it back together, and these clips just aren't the best. They kind of hold them enough to hold them, and that's about it. And that's probably why the old ones scored in a weird way, because these are just weirdly designed clips. But we got them in, we got the new pad, I mean the new rotors, and they look phenomenal. They do match the backs, which is pretty cool. So now we have new rotors all around the car. I still have to do the other side. I might just like time lapse it and see what I can do with it and see how fast I can do it since I have experience on this one. I didn't have to use uh, caliper tools on this, or piston tools I mean, or the compressor compressors, because um, I already think I have uh, air in these lines and plus the lines are disconnected in the back and they've emptied out quite a bit so there's no pressure really so I can move them by hand. But that's one done.
this side literally took me a quarter of the time, probably less than that. If you guys are doing this, I advise doing it how I did it on the passenger side here, was lifting the caliper off like you would change your brake pads. Do your brake pads, then take the whole caliper off with the rotor because that made it so much easier to do. On the other side, I was fiddling it with like 45 minutes, not even gonna lie to you guys about, about that one. I was just trying to put them in, but this definitely made it so much easier to do. And I finished this one in record time. So new brakes are in and I'm going to bleed the brakes and everything. So don't you guys worry about that because I still have to finish the backs because I need new lines and I still need e-brake cables for it too. So we're not even done with brake stuff. I don't know if I'll record a video on that on this channel or my other channel. TTR underscore vlogs if you guys want to check it out there. But that was all I did for breaks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, you know, this is this was a, a install that's important. So hopefully it was a good one. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna leave you guys up here. So if you guys could please give me a few things. Comment, like, subscribe, keep doing that fun stuff, keep doing you, stay motivated. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out and peace.